Oh yeah, I got exactly zero CS after that. Yeah, it's cool. I just went 26 and 9, zero CSR. That's just splendid. Hey, YouTube, hope everyone's doing well. I want to talk about the current state of Halo Infinite, um, the way it's making me feel, and I think the way it's making a lot of people in the community feel right now. So it's December 31st as of the date of recording this. The game officially came out, obviously, on December 8th, but its pre-release was November 15th. So let's say, let's say we're six weeks into this game. Obviously, the game started off and was met with nothing but positivity and optimism, and that was largely due to the refreshing gameplay and the combination of new and old, like Halo 5, Halo 3, mixed together into one game that all generations of Halo player could enjoy. And that was really good, and that's what the original positivity originated around, and kind of continued going into Raleigh. Um, obviously, we've seen HCS kind of blow up and become the model for what esports should be. And I think as a competitive game, it's doing its job right. Um, and I want to set that straight. But the way I want to, what I want to talk about is Halo from the majority perspective, which is not necessarily a competitive point of view. So this game, I think, has become stale very quick and I don't like saying that I've never felt like that in any Halo game but there's a lot of reasons that we're going to get into when you think about what Halo is if you go right back um, for me personally it all started off when I was like seven or eight years old I got introduced to Halo at my best mate's house we would just sit down I'd go over to his house at like nine o'clock on whatever a Saturday morning and we would do nothing except legendary campaign co-op Halo the entire day until my mum came and picked me up. And that was the way that I got into Halo. And that was something to do, that co-op campaign or like all skulls on co-op campaign. That just makes the campaign so much more enjoyable. So that, that was one thing to do. Then obviously another thing to do, you think to something like... Um, ODST, you think firefight where you could grind firefight out the same way that you can COD zombies and go for some ridiculous round and you feel rewarded and like you're getting better at something. Um, and then obviously you have the rank side as well and you can, the best ranking system everyone seems to say is this Halo 3, I never played it, ranking to 50 where if you win, you get um, experience, if you lose, then you lose experience and if you beat people that are on win streaks and therefore are good you get more experience and it all seemed well and you're coming up against difficult people and it's a rewarding thing and that's the biggest thing I think in any game is that reward and the dopamine that you get from playing it that can come from winning close difficult games that can come from grinding and just enjoying it with your mates or playing forge games with your mates or creating things um, it can come from a lot of different avenues. It can come from uh, grinding like in Halo Reach to get armor pieces. Like when you got the flaming helmet, you had to play hours and hours and hours to get enough credit to get that flaming helmet. And then finally getting that flaming helmet was like, yes, I feel like I've achieved something. And that's that little piece of dopamine. And I think that's what Halo Infinite is really missing right now. Because if we talk about the rank system, the rank system is, as someone like that has played a couple Halos now, just shit. Like, it is not fun because it's become blatantly obvious that the way the rank system is formulated is it's going to give you some games that are you're meant to win by, like, a lot. So, if there's, I'm Onyx rank, I, in my head, should be coming up against four Onyx ranks and on my team, I should have four Onyx ranks. I know, because I am playing on American Connection in half of my games, that there is definitely eight Onyx players online playing Halo Infinite at any one time, and I would happily wait an extra three minutes per game to get eight Onyx players in my lobby to make it a close competitive match based on both teams' skills. And I know that they're out there, but the matchmaking system purposely every single time, probably 19 out of 20 times, purposely puts one diamond on one of the teams or one platinum on one of the teams and makes it unbalanced so that one team is clearly favored to win 
And therefore, if you're the clearly favored team to win, you only ever gain one CSR, essentially, maybe two CSR if you've gone absolutely nuts. But there's also games where you're getting zero CSR. Like I had a game yesterday, I went 26 and nine against three Onyxes and a Diamond, and we won the game. And I literally stayed at Onyx 1770, didn't move up at all. That's not a rewarding experience because one, I didn't have to work in that game for my 26 kills. Like I'm versing a worse team, one, player one bad player in a team made game has such a big influence on the other three players that it makes it so easy as soon as you kill that guy everyone else becomes free kills if you're playing with four skilled players and that wasn't a rewarding experience for me and i get no enjoyment out of winning knowing that the game knows that i'm meant to win so even when even when you are winning you're going okay that's not that enjoyable most of the time. There's a couple games where it evenly matches you. you. You can see on Halo Tracker the percentage probability that you're meant to win. But most of the games, it's a landslide, like 75% plus probability that one team is meant to win. And then you flip that to the contrary, and that would be... Now, I'm on the team with a diamond, and I'm playing, and in, within the first three minutes, you can tell who is not of the same skill level, and then immediately in your head, it flicks a switch and goes, oh, okay, I am unfortunately the one that's been teamed with a diamond this game, and then every single time, you can go back and you can pinpoint it and go, I bet that guy's the diamond, and then you look at the end of the game, what do you know, he's the diamond, so... So in that situation, you've been given the disadvantage and it's just shit knowing that that's happening because then your incentive to play hard is taken away there as well because it's, I haven't been given a fair match based on skill to start with. I've just been given a handicap and I have to go God mode to win and that's also not a rewarding experience. So that's the problem with the grinding ranked really isn't enjoyable and this is a sentiment echoed across almost everyone that I see on Twitch, YouTube, everyone's talking about this. And it's something that I think really needs to change, but unfortunately, I don't see it changing because um, Josh Menke, who I believe, based on my understanding, was like kind of the high up matchmaking designer, um, he put out like a, he's done a one hour seminar discussing how to make ranking and matchmaking systems. And I'll try to find that and I'll put that in the description below if you're interested, but he essentially tells you what I'm telling you now, how some games are meant to be easy and some are meant to be hard. And that's what I'm talking about when we're talking percentage probability. Anyway, other than that rank side, then we also have to go and think about all the little problems that are inside of Infinite right now. So just to list a few, big team battle is broken right now. We essentially can't play it. I will sit trying to find a game for five minutes, then I'll finally be loading into a match and then my match just won't load up. It'll say I can't connect to a server and that will happen continuously for half an hour, right? Then I'll finally get into a big team battle server. And when I get into the BTB server, I'll, there's almost always something wrong. Either I've had games with no aimer, I've had games with no scoreboard or, or just a white scoreboard. Um, in ranked games, I've had games of oddball where I can't see the, the timer, so I don't know what points teams are on or how long is left in a round. So there's all these UI problems that are uh, and, and HUD problems that are encapsulated into problems. And I understand that 343 on holidays and they're hopefully going to work these things out and they really need to do it sooner rather than later because BTB is really the game mode right now that I think social people want to be playing. That's the experience that they want to have because... I, my personal opinion, all, all these other quick play game modes, they're just not that fun because of the pistol and AR. But let's not touch on that too much. Then we can talk about other things. Like we have a lack of game modes to grind. Again, going back to the ranked grind. Doubles, why is doubles not ranked? FFA, why is FFA not ranked? Like free for all is not fun if you're someone of my skill and you go in and match five randoms and you know almost every time you can win every game almost without trying because you're coming up against bad kids you free for all you want to test your individual skill that's the whole point of free for all so this this lack of um i guess ability to test your skill is just a massive problem in the game right now then obviously no forge no co-op and nothing to grind so they're all my problems right now the gameplay is obviously really good no one has any problems with the gameplay other than the, the desync which I'm hoping can also get sorted out because that's a problem for competitive, I think. Um, desyncs become a blatant issue. Rocket launches landing at people's feet and then not killing them. Getting shot behind a wall even though you know you haven't peaked. Things like this. 
that are a big problem and need to be fixed for competitive. Competitive is primed to do really well and I think competitive viewership will be good and I think the competitive side of this game is good but there's a lot to go in terms of social before we can say that we have a complete Halo game that everyone wants to grind and I don't think this is something that they want to wait a year or two to release. I think that we need to get this done as soon as we can and yeah, make Halo what Halo always was, something that people love grinding, something that people love playing with their friends and something that people can just kick back and enjoy. So that's my little rant. Um, been thinking about that a bit. The ranking system's been driving me nuts. So stuck around to the end. Thanks. And uh, I guess I'll see you in the next one. Keep on your best foot forward. Peace out. Listen up to me now. Every word that's out of my mouth. Let's wake up. It's me. You're going to follow your dreams. Or are you just going to be another car in the seat? You feel the hope in this beat. Yeah, the hope that you need to proceed and be exactly what you want it to be.